Okay, so today I have a haul. Now, some of our friends recently came back from the States and I asked if they would consider buying some makeup for me. And um, they said yes. And so I am so grateful for that because makeup costs so much less in America. It is like double here in Australia. It's really frustrating. Um, so, I've got some things to show you and I'm pretty excited. That's the word, excited. <laughs> okay, so the main store that was on my list was MAC. So I'll start with MAC. Ooh, lose it at all. The first thing that I got from MAC was a lip liner and this one is in Vino. Man, every time I film, my phone rings. Oh. For once, that wasn't a nuisance call, it was actually Tim. Anyway, so I was saying, the first thing that I got from MAC was a lip liner and this is in Vino, which is a dark purpley uh, black currant sort of shade. I got it so that I can use it with my Rebel lipstick from MAC because I really wanted a lip liner. I just think it looks a lot better with a lip liner and I've never tried MAC lip liners before. This is the first time. So I'm hoping that they are good. The next thing that I got was a new Pro Longwear concealer because I love my MAC Pro Longwear concealer. And I ran out a couple months ago and I knew these, um, I knew our friends were going over to the States and that she would be able to buy me some more. So that's what I got. I got the shade in NW20. I got six eyeshadows. Now, ooh, the first one is called Retrospec. So Retrospec is a really glittery uh, light beige shade. I have it on my eyes today in the inner corners and a little bit on the inner lower lash line and inner lid. Um, it's really glittery, very shiny. Uh, absolutely love that one. So that'll be really fun to play with. The next one that I got is called Fig One. This one is a matte uh, squared finish which means it's the extra creamy, buttery and pigmented um, shadow. So this one is like a deep purple. It's really, oh, it just feels like butter when I put my finger in to swatch it. It just feels like butter. I mean, look at that. It's so beautiful. That'll be really nice for some autumn makeup tutorials, which I probably will be doing because I don't only have subscribers in Australia. I have subscribers all over the world and a majority of you will be experiencing the cooler weather, so I want to do some uh, different tutorials for you guys. The next one I got is Typographic, which is also a um, MAC squared finish. And this one is a dark grey. Uh, so it's just a good one to have in my kit because I find I do use a lot of dark grey colours on girls. And um, not really more, not really on myself, more so on other people. So I'm really happy with that one. The next one that I got is rice paper. So rice paper is just a really nice, um, light, almost yellow uh, shade. It's got a bit of a sheen. I'm not sure what finish it is. It might be a Velux Pearl or a Satin. It's definitely not a frost. Um, but it's just a nice all over the lid shade when you want to look like you're not wearing something but you want to wear something. It's a really pretty shade. Next we have Brown Script. And I am so happy she was able to buy Brown Script because I have been trying to buy this eyeshadow here in Australia for like over a year. And it's been so frustrating. Every time I go to a MAC... Because um, in Queensland we don't have any MAC stores, we only have MAC counters. And um, every MAC counter I would go to, oh no, we don't have brown script. Oh. And um, it's been really frustrating. And, and even when I've looked in other stores throughout Australia, they all will say the same thing. So brown script is just a really, oh, I feel that. 
I think it's a squared um, finish as well. It is. Oh, it's just... I said I should stop swatching them, but seriously, look at that. That is just one swatch there. That's one swatch. Oh, it's a beautiful chocolatey warm brown shade. It's very warm. Very pretty. And the last one that I got is Club. I've been umming and ahhing about this shadow for a while now, but Club is a duochrome green and brown and it's just, oh, look at that. I said I was going to stop swatching them, but I just did it again. Um, yeah, so it's a green and brown and it's just really pretty and I, I think I would have a great time experimenting with it. So pretty excited to try that one out. And now I've got the dirtiest fingers in the world. So I got some MAC palettes and inserts because they are dirt cheap in America. No, no they're not dirt cheap. They cost less than dirt. Uh, so the first one that I got was a double, um, a double one. If I can open it. There we go. Um, I've already popped in my Makeup Geek shadows, but that's what it looks like there. So it's got like a little um, side that you flip over. And I've yet to put in the other insert that I bought, which was just... Um, you know, <laughs> the exact same one that I've got in there. So this will be my blush palette. And honestly, so cheap. Okay, so the insert, two bucks. And the actual palette itself is eight bucks. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It is so much more here in Australia. So much more. Which is why I bought quite a few. <laughs> um, by quite a few, I mean two. Well, two more. So, and then I bought two of the regular um, large single palettes and then two 15 eyeshadow inserts for those ones because I need some more. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that was so cheap. And to buy this in Australia, you are paying more than double the price. Insane. I don't know how how that's legal, but anyway, anyway. So that's everything from MAC. Um, I got two things from the drugstore, and they're both the same thing. <laughs> it is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation in the shade 805, which is the lightest shade. You can't buy this in Australia, uh, which is why I wanted my friend to pick it up in the US. And actually, it is what I'm wearing today, and as you know, this does oxidize on me. So this color is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. So I'm hoping that it oxidizes to my skin tone. I don't know. How, how does it look to you guys? Do you think that my face matches my neck? I think it looks pretty good personally. Um, and I just love the formula of this foundation and it wears really well on my oily skin. So next trip was Sephora. And soon we will have our own Sephora here in Australia. Sephora is coming to Sydney to the Pitt Street Mall in December. And oh, I just, I wish that I was there for it. Honestly, I wish I was. Anyway, um, one brand that is coming to Sephora that we currently don't have in Australia is Tarte. And so I picked up one of their blushes. Honestly, I don't know how many times I looked at all the shades of the blushes and I was like, what do I want? Oh my goodness, I don't, I don't know what to choose. So with it being warmer months here, I thought I would get something summer appropriate. So I got Tipsy, which looks like that. It's just a beautiful coral shade, bright peachy coral, and I would definitely call it like a satin finish. It's not matte and it's not overly shimmery. It's definitely like a, um, a satin finish. I'm pretty excited about it and honestly guys, I've got to find a new word than excited because I was editing my Zoeva makeup haul or brushes haul the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, how many times am I saying excited? This is embarrassing. Too faced. Now, I've already uh, bought one of these and I love it, so I wanted to pick up some more shades. <laughs> this is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick 
and this is in the shade Coral. I already have Nude, um, but this is Coral, a beautiful bright coral shade. And then the one that I am wearing today is Melted Fig. Now you can't buy this here in Australia because it is like the, um, I don't know if it's limited edition, but it's the new shades for autumn and winter in America or in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, they haven't yet come out here in Australia. I'm guessing they will, but not for a couple of months. And I really wanted this shade because it's so pretty. And I've got it on today and I just think it is divine. Isn't it? I just, I love it. It's so beautiful. It's, it's great. Great for autumn and winter. I got two nail polishes. Uh, we can't... Uh, by Deborah Lipman here in Australia. Um, another one that I'm hoping comes to Sephora Australia. But this is in Stronger, this polish. And it would have to be the prettiest glitter I have ever seen. So it is a combination of light blue, dark blue, red, like a holographic yellowy gold uh, glitter. And it's so pretty. It's in a... Um, like a tinted blue base. It's just stunning. So beautiful. And it was on sale. It was half price. So that was that was awesome. Uh, the other polish that I got is from Butter London. And this is my first Butter London nail polish. This one is called Rosy Lee. And look at that color. Isn't that stunning? It's a very sheer glitter. So you have to build it up. Or I'll put it over the top of a polish that is a similar color to this one. And then I had to get a backup of my favorite primer of all time, which is the Benefit Professional. And it came, and she well, she actually got this um, cool set, which must have been like the same price as buying it by itself. Uh, so you get the primer, and then you also get a little container of the facial cream, the Total Moisture Facial Cream. And I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so she got it in this box. I think I may have tried it. Oh, that might have been the Dream Cream, I think they call it. I'm not sure. Um, but Benefit Skincare has the cutest bottles and packaging. Uh, it's in like this little, it, it screams vintage to me. Um, light blue glass bottle with the little lid, and I just think it looks so cute. Actually, this will be fantastic to take away. Um, when I travel and uh, I am traveling a little bit later on this month so that'll be really handy and then of course the primer um, which I just I just love benefits packaging look it, it pops open it's so cute and um, I'm sure you've seen it a million times but that is the primer right there now somehow while she was getting this benefit stuff she managed to score this little bag and I have no idea it must have been some kind of freebie thing that was going with benefit at the moment so it's just like a cute little toiletry bag with the zipper and then you open the lid if I undo the zipper all the way and uh, yeah it's pink inside and it's cute and it's handy and I will use it because uh, mine is getting a little bit dirty like this is the one that I use at the moment that has a lot of skincare and stuff in it and looking a little a little rough around the edges. This one is definitely cute and it says benefit there and their logo and everything and yeah. Don't know how she scored that, but I am grateful. So that is everything that I got. Um honestly I saved so much money by doing this. It's it's crazy when you think about it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you'd like to see more of a particular product that I've mentioned, just comment below and tell me and I will think of something to do with that product and uh, make a video for you guys. But um, a lot of this stuff I will have, uh, I'll do a review of it and put it on my blog in case um, you're interested. It's really hot today. It's going to be 36 degrees Celsius. Which I don't know how hot it is, Fahrenheit terms, but it's going to be really hot. <sighs> so, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be talking to you soon in my next video. Bye!